What's going on everyone? Gilman with Levolti Stocks back with another Amazon update video. I made one on Saturday two days ago and we were taking a look at kind of this narrowing range and what Amazon was going to do and talking about the possibility of a breakout and what to look out for and we got that breakout today. That's right, Amazon is up $111 on the day, 3.51%. I know a lot of us were looking forward to this um, down in the comment section. I know I talked to some of you guys and we were looking for that breakout to happen this week on Monday it happened um, so I'm really happy about that but we'll take a look at Amazon some key support and resistance levels that we were looking at how we kind of spotted that that pattern coming um, and what we were kind of looking for as well as what we are looking for moving into the future so real quick if you enjoy videos like this hit that like button down below subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below if you were able to take advantage of some of that movement today and i'd love to chat with you guys down in the comment section so let me hit record we will get right into it so like i said great green day for amazon up $111.27, which is 3.51%. Pretty flat after hours. Compare that to the NASDAQ, we were up 0.74%. Dow was up 198 points, which is 0.66%. And S&P was up 0.86% as well. Amazon though, $111. Look at that green candle, right? We knocked out all resistance levels um that we had you know going back to 1216 and this is the highest that we have been um you know and from like early november i believe so it's been a long time coming um these levels um but we'll take a look at you know how we spotted it what we were looking for um but let's take a look at how it traded today so as we see right a little bit of a sell-off right out of the gate um, if we go back to Thursday, what we will see is we close near the 3168 level, um, you know, in the after hours, and then um, opened up right here at 3192, sold off, right, pushed up, sold off again, 3172. We talked about the possibility of, um, you know, it going down to this 3165. Didn't make it all the way there, but pretty much went down uh, seven seven dollars off on a three thousand dollar stock isn't too far off right but from 3172 right took a little break at VWAP but other than that went all the way up 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 did not take a break all the way to 3296 and then kind of took a little bit to consolidate broke above 3300 um, and then closed down here at 3283 a little bit of profit taking at the end similar to Apple if you guys seen those videos as well um, Nothing nothing to be worried about right so how did we sort of see this coming? So if you saw my old old Amazon videos a couple weeks ago, right? We were taking a look at this pennant forming talking about the possibility of a breakout from this level we kind of got that except that breakout wasn't too crazy, right? We got a a little bit of a push up. We went from bouncing off the 3160s level all the way to 3241. Not bad, right? $70, $80 push in a day. If you caught that, could have been a great payday. Then what we noticed was, and this is the pattern that I highlighted on, uh, this is what I highlighted on Saturday, right? In the video that I put up just two days ago. We talked about it being, making a lower low every single, or excuse me, lower high every single day while maintaining this level as a good level of support, right? This 3165 being a really good level of support. So what we talked about was, look, we're at this point where if we continue making a lower high, where, I mean, either one of two things could happen. Either we trade in a very, very, very narrow range between 3160 and whatever this line would have been, which in this case is 3187. So you're talking about a $20 range for Amazon for the entire day, which I mean, just typically doesn't happen, right? Even this tiny candle here, low was 3180, high was 3222. That's a $40 move. That's a smaller candle than most of these candles, right? $20 move just wasn't likely. So we were either going to see a break of the support at 31.65 or we were going to break out, which we saw the second one happening. The reason I didn't think this support would break is because of how many times we really validated it, right? Um, as well as back here, back here. Um, so this support I was pretty confident on. It could still have broken it, but um, thankfully didn't. So we pushed up. We went all the way to 33.04 like I highlighted. Um, and then, you know, kind of bounced off of this level. So, so great. Good job to everyone, you know, down in the comment section that was talking about 
retail sales and talking about how you know they saw a similar thing forming. Hope you guys were all able to take advantage of that. I had a debit spread myself. Definitely sold it a little bit too early. Um, I was looking at kind of these levels. I talked about this, right? So if if we broke above this line, I'm watching that since we were making lower highs, the resistance, the next resistance point becomes the high of the day before, right? So the first high I was watching was 3202, 3210, 3222, 3229, and then 3263. So I actually sold off right near 3263, and then it ran to 3300, which is fine with me because I stuck to my trading plan. Um, still didn't do too shabby there, so um, you know I'm happy with my trade. But let me know down in the comment section how you guys did, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. But pushed up all the way to 3304, which, like I said, is the highest we've been since November 6th, right? So November 6th, our high was 33.22, and then the day before was 33.66. So if we push up again, right, we're at 32.83 right now, the very first level that I'm watching is 33. 3300 could be a mental resistance because we've got also this 33.04 high that I think will act as a little bit of resistance. Then I'm watching this level on 11.06 of 33.22, then 33.66. So 33.04, 33.22, on the upside. Now on the downside, what we have is, um, you know, let me let me talk about it from a price action level, uh, and then we'll talk about it from a uh, kind of a exponential moving average level. So from a price action level, um, we could find support right here. Let me draw a horizontal line right there. Um, at 32.62, um, my only concern is we are up $111, so we could see a little bit of a profit taking. If we see that, I don't think that a $20 a $20 pullback is going to be essential. Is going to be enough, I guess, is the right way to say it. So we could see a little bit more uh, of a falling of the stock than that. Um, but I'm looking for this first level on the downside, um, and then. Um, we'll, we'll see kind of how that goes. And then from an indicator perspective, right, we've got the AEMA coming in at 32.09, which should go up day after day. Um, if we drop all the way to kind of the low 3200s, I'm looking at 32.09. And then if we go to the moving averages, um, what we'll see is it's held up the 50-day um, moving average really nicely. Um, and found the 20 day moving average as a support for the past couple of er, as a resistance. So it was bouncing off the 50, 20 was acting as resistance, um, which both of those come in at 3208 and 3201. Again, those are going to move up pretty rapidly now that Amazon's all the way in the high 3200s. So that's what I'm looking at um, kind of on the downside um, 30, 3262 seeing if that holds um, since that was a level of resistance back then now they're above it i'm hoping for that to be a level of support for us but if we do a little we do see a little bit more of a sell-off like we see kind of out of the gate um, some days then we could break below that um, and then we've got some emas in the low 3200s as well as these moving averages in the 3208s so let me know what you guys uh, think of amazon i think you know there's a lot more potential, I think, that 3366. I would not be surprised if we reached that, you know, sometime soon, um, and then maybe even make a push towards 3400, and then you know, hopefully 3500 in Q1 2021 um, as we get more of the holiday sales number and we kind of see the growth that Amazon has had during the pandemic. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day. And until next time.